Hello there. It is another Tuesday, which means it's time for another in real life video. Uh, this week we are taking, of course, another general viewer submitted question. As per usual, feel free to submit your own. It can be uh, very silly. It can be maybe a little bit more serious, uh, but of course not too serious. We don't want to break uh, terms of service or anything too personal or private or whatever. Uh, but either way, Feel free to use the comments below if you have a question like that or whatever, or um, something along those lines. Uh, if you want added to the ever-growing and ever-shrinking list that I use to refer to for this. Anyway, this week, like I said, uh, it comes from a general viewer whose username should be somewhere in the lower third right about now. And they ask a bit of a technical question, right? Uh, they say... And ask, like I said, as someone who uses their computer for content creation daily, do you feel like Windows has gotten worse in recent years? Do you see a future for desktop Linux in your workflow? Uh, frankly, a question which is maybe a little bit beyond me, <laughs> right? Um, a lot of what I know about uh, computers and everything, like... Uh, is very self-taught, I will say, and uh, I'm kind of an idiot uh, when it comes to this. Uh, don't let anything else fool you. Uh, don't, don't, don't ever get the idea that I'm like a smart person because it's not true. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not true. I promise. Um, I don't know really anything about Linux at all, other than like a lot of a lot more like tech savvy people uh, enjoy it. Right. But like, um, my, my closest interactions with that, like degree of tech is like every once in a while, I'll listen to like Brad and will have a tech pod. Right. And even then it's kind of limited or like a, I'll watch a digital foundry video. Right. If, if the mood strikes me, uh, but otherwise I'm not super versed in stuff like that. Um, like I said, unfortunately I'm, I'm pretty dumb. Um, I know how to build, I, I can put together a computer and I enjoy doing it. Uh, of course, it's it's pretty expensive to get all the parts and whatnot. Uh, but I, I've taught myself how to do that. But when it comes to uh, sort of the minutia between operating systems, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of an idiot. I'm, I'm the wrong person to turn to. Uh, frankly, a lot of the features that I have available in, like, for instance, my video editor of choice, DaVinci Resolve, um, and shoot, even a decent chunk of stuff that I use for, like, OBS. I don't even know what it does, really. <laughs> I gotta be real with you. I don't even know what most of, like, when it comes to the video editor, I don't even know what a lot of it does. And uh, I just I just don't have the time or the bother to learn unless I'm, like, in a situation where it's like, well, I guess I should learn about how chroma keying works if I want to try this out, right? It may make things simpler for making, like, an opening or closing to the video or whatever, you know? Stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I I just can't be bothered, <laughs> right? If Unless the need uh, is strong, uh, then I'll look into it. I'll look into, like, tutorials and try and teach it to myself and all of that. Uh, and... Definitely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that same sort of thinking extends to operating systems beyond the purview of something like Windows. Um, as far as myself making stuff on Windows, I haven't actually really noticed anything. Um, right? There's, of course, there's no shortage of nightmares going on with, like, Microsoft at, like, a higher level. But as far as, like, well, does the does it crash? Is it performing well enough? Uh, it performs well enough. I don't really have any crashes or whatever, right? Uh, this is probably a point of contention for, like, would I consider swapping to Linux? Um, which, you know, like I said, a lot of tech-savvy people are always bringing up, like, oh, have you thought about swapping to Linux? A little penguin or whatever? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, but... Uh, I, I simply don't have a need, and there is unquestionably a degree of benefit to using sort of the, I don't know what you would say, like the the mass market choice, you know, that everybody is on, 
or the vast majority of people are on, right? You know, you can just refer to like the Steam hardware surveys. They also have operating system on there. And undoubtedly, you know, a, a version of Windows is always the um, taking the lion's share of what people use for their operating system. Uh, a lot of this, my reason for preferring that is because I am a bit of an idiot, right? Um, a lot of that is because, you know, if I want to look up like a quick solution, you know, uh, for instance, if I'm having difficulty playing like an old game, you know, like um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, you know, I want to play, I want to do a playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, for whatever reason, the game itself may be a bit busted, you know, because it's pretty old. Um, if you just install it straight up, you're liable to run into issues, right? But thankfully, people will have made mods. If the game has a certain degree of popularity, people will create and maintain um, mods to help the game run uh, to where it doesn't just... Uh, fall prey to issues like crashing to desktop, stuff like that. Uh, you get, like, performance boosts, uh, stuff to where, like I said, it, it meshes better, it works better on contemporary hardware, and all of that. Um, that's a, undeniably such a huge boon, right? Uh, anytime you want to go and play an older game, it helps so much if there's, you know, if you're just using what everybody else is using, because you sort of get this, I don't know, collective strength wherein uh, everybody's kind of in it together. And thus, it's so much easier to look up stuff like, oh, um, I can just very easily see what this person is doing and I know exactly how to do it. Um, true enough, you can maybe accomplish the same thing on, for instance, if you were running via Linux or whatever. But there would be extra steps involved. For instance, oh, how do I, they've outlined something very clear that works on Windows. How do I convert this to working on Linux or whatever, right? Um, even if it's something as simple as like, well, where did this file get automatically installed when I installed the game? You know, um, how does something like Skyrim script extender function on Windows versus Linux? What changes do I need to make? It just makes it that much simpler uh, to be using, you know, what everybody else is using, right? Uh, the important caveat here, of course, is that maybe more and more people are using Linux. I think a big boon to that is something like the Steam Deck. Doesn't the Steam Deck run off of Steam OS, which also runs, it's like a derivative or... Um, I don't even know the terminology, the exact terminology, so I'll just use something generic. It's like a derivative of Linux. It's running off of Linux in some way. I don't know what that means, but in some way it is, the root of it is not like um, like a Mac or it's not like Windows, it's Linux. Uh, and in that sense, that I feel like SteamOS running Linux opens a lot of doors and keeps them open. You know, dependent upon Steam, Steam OS and other devices that run Steam OS, like I mentioned, the Steam Deck, the portable handheld thing, um, that in turn helps proliferate Linux further and make it to where um, someone like me, who, yeah, I can put together a computer and all of that if I need to. Or if I have the money <laughs> to be able to do it. Um, but I don't really know too much about like the software. And I mean, you know, like for Christ's sakes, I have like um, an aversion to mods born out of a fear of like, oh, am I going to fuck it up? Am I going to am I going to mess up the whole <laughs> the whole install or whatever? Oh, it's a bit of a wild pain, you know, uh, granted, that is totally something that I'm like slowly uh, overcoming and all of that. But so too, do you run into issues where, like, like I said, it just helps to be on sort of what everybody's using when it comes to doing a playthrough, recording a video or whatever about it. Um, just as well, there's time frame stuff. You know, I, I can't help but think of, like, you know, 
we do Morrowind Mondays every Monday. Um, we have it to where uh, we're using a mod, which is continually, as time goes on, it keeps getting more and more stuff added onto it. Tamriel rebuilt. Um, if I want to keep the same playthrough, the same character going, I cannot go onto those newer updates without risking, um, like, irrevocably getting the save file busted right which is not like a normal person problem right that's kind of a problem unique to me being someone who is like carrying forward this playthrough for a long time you know so you run into stuff like that there's also other things where like um this sort of extends into the realm of hardware um i've had conversations with people before about using like different graphics cards aside from nvidia because true enough um, it's a bit easier to get like an AMD graphics card. That's a, they tend to be cheaper, right? But there's no denying that stuff like um, NVIDIA's built in encoder, NVENC. Is that how you say it? N V E N C. Um, that is extremely useful for me being someone who like makes videos as frequently as I do. If I just made like a video a month, you know, like I'm doing video essays exclusively or whatever, and you just render out one long video a month, every two months, every season, something like that, uh, where it's infrequent enough, not, not as big of a deal. But, you know, if you're someone who makes Let's Plays, playthrough videos, or you're just making videos at a more rapid pace, maybe you're doing like more topical stuff um, where... Uh, there's not exactly they're not exactly like evergreen videos you're like covering news um so you're kind of like at the cutting edge reporting on whatever sector it may be um or you're doing like live streaming having that encoder like it it is just extremely helpful it it cuts down on time it improves quality um in a very noticeable way i remember Goodness, I don't even know how many years ago it was when I finally got an upgrade to swap to using NVIDIA's encoder. And it was, it, it like literally knocked it down from taking like an hour to an hour plus to render out a video. You know, uh, these days it takes like, I think, um, well, it varies depending on like how much action was in the video, but to, to render out like a two hour video to export it. Um, usually like 12 minutes, uh, granted, like I said, sometimes it can really go up there to like 20 ish, maybe a little bit under 20, uh, dependent upon, you know, and of course that's going to scale better, the, the better hardware you have. Um, but yeah, stuff like that are concerns. It's, it's generally just like so much easier to fire and forget as it were to just have, to just run with windows you know if it were the case that like linux were having the lion's share of like being what everybody uses or if it were mac then that would probably be the way in which i would go i would go with the flow there you know i'm not sort of at that what what you would call it like cutting edge enthusiast level you know um i definitely benefit from i don't know traveling with the pack as it were like i said there's there's a benefit to going in with the collective, right? Everyone's in it together. Um, people who do have that sort of tech know-how um, are liable to offer out solutions to idiots like me who um, are able to make use of it, but in no in no way uh, could I figure it out on my own, you know? That's sort of where I'm at with it. Uh, this week... Uh, that, that, that'll do it this week. Kind of a, a very niche, very tech-sided uh, question, right? Uh, but I don't know. Kind of fun to, to spread in there amidst everything else. You know, I kind of enjoy that. This is probably the one of the more technical ones we've had, uh, especially for myself who, like I said, I'm not incredibly technically versed, you know? I do all right, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not like... I'm not like... Out, I'm not out here running Linux, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, uh, Windows has been fine for me. Um, horrible stuff going on with Microsoft as per usual. Uh, but what can you do about it? You know, we're, we're stuck living under that thumb as it were, right? Uh, that ought to do it for this week. As I had mentioned, 
feel free to um, submit a question if you got one. And uh, that'll do it. Until next time, please take care of each other.